This video is going to walk through the use of uh, a particular function in Excel called VLOOKUP. It's one of the most useful functions in Excel. It allows you to combine two data sets or fetch data related to some existing data that you have. Um, but it's also one of the most tricky functions to use and it takes quite a while to, to get used to using it. It's quite easy to to make mistakes or for it to not work. So do be patient with it because it is really, really powerful. And I'm going to show you how to use it in a couple of different situations. Um, in this first example, I've got two tables on the same spreadsheet. On the left, I've got um, a rank of Women's Super League uh, at clubs and their attendances so far, their average attendance this season. Um, so we can see that in order. And then on the right, I've got the actual table of performance. So um, who's top of the table, who's bottom and so on. Now, if I wanted to put these tables together, if I wanted to combine them, I might have to manually start to match them up. So I might say Arsenal was is first over here, but Liverpool is down here in 10th. So that's 10th. Manchester United is third, that's quite easy. Chelsea is second. Now. Even for 12 clubs, this is a bit of uh, a bit too much work. I can actually match them up more easily using a, a formula and using this VLOOKUP function. So to do that, I start with an equal sign, which tells Excel that I want it to do some work. The function, as I said, is VLOOKUP. It will show it to you there as well, so you can always click on that to use it. Then I want to open the brackets for the ingredients. And there are four different ingredients here that I need to specify. I need to specify the value that I'm looking up, in other words, what I'm looking for, where I'm looking for that, what I want to bring back, and whether I want it to be an exact match or the nearest match. So we'll go through each of those in turn. The first ingredient then is what I'm looking for. Well, that's this cell here. I'm looking for Arsenal. I can now move on to the next ingredient, so that means I need to type a comma, and I can now see the next ingredient, which is the table array. What this means is the range of cells containing both what you're matching and what you want to bring back. That range of cells is here in columns F and G. What we're matching on is column F, but we want to bring back what's in column G. And the best way to do that is to select the two columns, click and drag from F to G like this, or I can type F colon G, and that means basically columns F to G. What's really important here is that the first column in that range should be the column containing your matching data, so the data that you're looking to match. Now I've specified the range, I can type a comma, and move on to the third ingredient. And the third ingredient is basically a number that indicates which column in this range I want to bring back. This is the first column, this is the second column. If I had a wider range, it would go on to the third, fourth, and so on. But basically, I want to bring back the second column. This is the column that I want to, uh, that has the information that I want, which is the rank in the table. So that's the second column. So I'm going to type a number two to indicate that. That's the third ingredient done. So I can add another comma to indicate that I'm moving on to the final ingredient. And the final ingredient is true or false. Do I want an approximate match? True. Or do I want an exact match? False. Now, pretty much always you're gonna want an exact match. So this is always going to be false. You can type that or you can click on the false to select it. That's now the fourth and final ingredient specified. So I can close my brackets to say, that's all the ingredients that you need and press enter. Now when you press enter, what it will do is it will look for that value, so arsenal in this column the range that I specified, the first column in the range that I specified, and it will bring back the column that I specified, which is the second column. 
I can copy this down now all the way and it will apply it to each club. So it looks for Liverpool, finds it, brings back 10. It does the same for Manchester United and so on. So each time this value, which started off as B2, changes to B3, B4 and so on. So by the end, it's looking in B13 for West Ham and bringing back what's next to West Ham here. So that's the VLOOKUP formula or VLOOKUP function. It's a really, really useful function for fetching data that's related. The data must match absolutely. So if Arsenal here was Arsenal W for Arsenal Women's, then you would get this NA error. Um, that means it doesn't find a match, um, so it's, it's not worked. So you must make sure that the text matches up exactly. Or what you can do is use this to match up, you know, 90% of the entries that do match, and then you might manually fill in the errors and check those. Okay, but that's the VLOOKUP function, as I said, extremely useful for combining data. Um, it's really important to kind of look at tutorials and, and um, don't worry if it doesn't work first time because it quite often can trip you up and you just have to keep kind of looking for errors, maybe start again if it doesn't work for your first time. But as you can see, it is so useful that it is worth persisting because it can make a big difference to the data that you're working with.